You're listening to Soap Dirt, the latest in television entertainment news. Hey there, Days fans. It's Belinda from Soap Dirt, and I want to talk about some wild things happening in Alex Kidiakis' and Brady Black's lives over the next two weeks, and it all revolves around troublesome Teresa Donovan. That woman is trouble with a capital T. Will Teresa get dumped by one hunk and picked up by the other, or will she do a straight-out hunk swap? Brady for Alex? Subscribe if you haven't, and now let's talk about it. So right now... Teresa is spending a lot of time with both Alex and Brady as they all try to help out Tate Black, who's in jail charged with supplying drugs to Holly Jonas, something he definitely did not do. But EJ Demera is assuming the worst of the kid because both his parents, Brady and Teresa, have a history with drugs. They actually met in AA, if you don't remember, but then that evolved into them being drinking buddies when they should have been trying to keep their sobriety intact. They were very bad influences on each other. They started using Coke together and partying. And even back then, if you don't remember, Teresa was a gold digger with an agenda who tricked Brady into marrying her while he was fall down drunk. Their awful history is known all around Salem, and that's what was on EJ's mind when he assumed their son Tate had followed their dark path of drug and alcohol addiction, and that's why he gave Holly those tainted drugs that overdosed her. At a glance, I mean, EJ's assumptions are easy to understand, but Tate's a good kid. He's not like his parents at all. So there have been some spoilers saying someone in Salem was going to relapse, and there's several alcoholics in Salem, Maggie, we got Brady, we've got Teresa, there's some others. So I said here at first, I wondered if it was going to be Brady because he was so distraught over missing that visitation with Rachel Black. But now, based on some new spoilers for this week, it looks like it might actually be Teresa, and that's going to take things in a whole new twisted direction. So the other day at the Salem Police Department, you may remember if you watched, Teresa snapped at Alex and said, look, can you just walk away? Let me and Brady talk. We're going to decide what's best for Tate's legal strategy. Alex was getting too heavy handed. He was making decisions on their behalf. He was hiring and firing people and Teresa had had enough. Ever since Teresa faked the will, naming Alex as Victor's secret son, he has been behaving like more of an entitled a-hole every single day. I'm tired of it. He's still gorgeous, but I'm tired of it. So on Tuesday, January 16th, spoilers say Teresa and Brady get some good news about Tate. I think EJ might soften his approach to the kid because he has started to question the conclusion he jumped to before. Rafe has found evidence that Holly was dabbling in drugs with school friends and nobody's found any kind of dirt like that on Tate. And Nicole admitted to EJ she caught Holly hungover. So... Maybe EJ's thinking, all right, I'm being a little too harsh. I don't think he's going to let him out of jail, but maybe he'll put him in juvie or something instead, you know. Then on Thursday, things take a turn because Teresa goes missing. Alex and Brady work together to try and find her, say the official spoilers, and by Friday, they do. And the spoilers say that the two guys are taking care of her. So this is a big red flag to me that Teresa is the one that relapsed. Maybe it's drugs or maybe she just gets drunk, fall down, obliterated drunk. Either way, the guys are there for her, but then things twist again. So we've known for months since October when they had the Day of Days event and released their annual mega promo that Brady kisses Teresa on the couch in Alex's apartment. And almost four months after that promo was released, we finally got that kiss coming this week. Based on where they are, sitting on the couch in Alex's place, I suspect it may happen Friday after they find Teresa. But of course, they don't give us dates on things when they release the promos. So there's another spoiler that says love is in the air for someone lonely in Salem. Well, to me, that sounds a lot like Brady, right? I mean, Teresa's hot and heavy with Alex, but really it's Brady she wants. 
She's just gold digging with Alex and enjoying his hot body. And I mean, who wouldn't? Rob Scott Wilson, hello. But Teresa's been crazy for Brady for years, even though their fling also started with her and a huge shovel and some gold digging. So in the Day of Days promo, it also shows Alex Kidiakis walks in and catches them kissing. That little part of the scene isn't in the weekly promo, but it is in the bigger promo. So I know that's going to happen. So the question is, is Alex going to freak? Is he going to walk out? Is he going to punch Brady Black? Will Brady realize this whole thing is a very bad idea? Or will this new understanding that Brady and Teresa have found during the Tate crisis lead them on a path to a reunion? I'm just wondering if Teresa Donovan's about to pull a hunk swap and exchange Alex for Brady. I mean, you can't really argue with either one. They're both a hottie with a body and you know, who could blame her for hitting that sampling menu of hunks. So it may be better long term if she sways to Brady, because once the truth comes out about what she did with Victor's will, Alex is going to dump her anyway. Whereas Brady might actually applaud her for cheating Xander out of his legacy because he hates that guy. So for now, Watch closely next week to see if when Teresa goes missing, it's because she falls off the sobriety wagon. Maybe she has a drink. Maybe she has some drugs. Certainly hope it's none of those tainted drugs that Clyde is paddling around town. And I also wonder when she kisses Brady, is she still drunk or high? And, you know, then she can make an excuse to Alex about it just being a sloppy mistake and maybe he won't dump her. You know, he and Brady might end up brawling. I don't know. This is very soapy and it's coming this week and I'm super duper excited about it. So we're going to see how it all unrolls. Hey, drop your comments on what you want to see. Are you hoping that Teresa winds up with Brady, walks away from Alex? Do you want Alex to dump her? Do you think Brady's on a slippery slope to being back involved with another bad woman? Because we know he's got mostly terrible taste in women. Drop your comments below. Please click subscribe if you haven't already. And definitely come back soon. We're here talking days of our lives, seven days a week. And as always, it's Belinda from Soap Dirt. Thank you for being a loyal listener. Follow us wherever you get your podcast. Because you don't want to miss the next episode. Soap Dirt is on all the major podcast platforms, including Apple Podcast, Spotify, iHeartRadio, and more. 